translate. <laughs> so obviously the patient has an amputation, okay, just below the inguinal part, and we have a uh, part of the femur which has remained, maybe 20 centimeters, correct? Okay. How long ago was the surgery? 25 years ago. Yeah, about 15 centimeters. Moving and not moving, okay, which is very common with amputation. Um, where is the problem? The problem is here or the problem is there? The problem is there. Okay. So why is the problem here and not here? Because here we have lots of adhesion on the scar tissue. So we have scar tissue and we have lots of compression. So the compression over the skin receptors, muscle receptors, mechanical receptors are all squashed like this. So when you have a receptor which is squashed like that for a long period of time, it is going to give you false reading, false uh, feedback. So creating a pain syndrome and pain on the limb which doesn't exist anymore. So for us, uh, okay, we can treat this very easily by applying a tape, which is going to do what? Decompression. Decompression. Okay, over the scar tissue. Okay, and so usually in these situations, the phantom pain reduces very quickly, and the protocol of treatment is 10 treatments. So we're going to apply the tape two times a week for five weeks. So that is the protocol, okay? Obviously we have 25 years has passed, okay? So 25 years of compression, uh, very strong ad adhesion over the scar tissue, we'll, we'll see now, okay? So, okay, even though lots of time has passed, the tape is still going to create decompression in the local area, okay? And so from experience, whether it is an acute phase Okay, which means amputation only for three, six months, or after many years, the result is still very interesting. Okay, so, uh, okay, so we have, okay, we have the length in around 15 to 20 centimeters up until the hip. Okay, so we have scar tissue underneath. Like this. You see here, when you pull the skin, you see you have adhesion, not on a skin level, not on a connective fiber level, not on a muscle or tendon, we have adhesion on the bone level, okay? So you see here, when we pull the skin, okay, you see how it is adhered to the bone. Exactly there. Okay. So then we have to stretch down and to apply and let go. Yeah. Stretch and to apply. <coughs> In there, okay, you see, you have to bring it over, apply the tape over the scar and then stretch up in this case by the tape and then stretch down <coughs> okay like that okay so when you bring your leg up Bring up, okay. You see how many wrinkles there are? Just bring up, okay. Very good, and then down. Okay, so bring it down again. Okay, down, down. Okay. okay. So on this side, stretch the skin here. So leg down, yeah. So here we have to, okay, cover the scar tissue, stretch the skin. Cover the scar tissue, stretch the skin just like that, 
and to apply the table. Okay? And then they grow. So stretch the skin up, stretch the skin down, and no tension. Stretch the skin as you apply the base. Then, again, in this way. one with your leg towards the front. Put this leg towards the front. No, no. Okay, put your leg towards the front. Okay, perfect. Just hold like that. Okay. And uh, see, so put the of this on your no. Yeah. Okay. So you have to apply the tape already in a fully stretched position. Okay. <coughs> So our objective is here. You see, already, the skin is more, more, more mobile, okay? More fluid in its movement, you see that? Already, you see, there is less adhesion, it is softer, okay? okay. So here, compression like this. More movement he does, the more decompression there will be, okay? Just like that, okay? As amputation above the knee, and so 25 years ago, 25 years ago, so we have an amputation, we have scar tissue, lots of adhesion, very sensitive just to touch, and so it has periodic pain locally. The pain it gets worse when it is cold, um, and he has periodic phantom pain, okay, so he can, ha he has neurological phantom pain up until the toes, he can feel the toes. So again, we're going to apply a tape, one centimeter wide, okay? So we're going to start from the scar tissue, from here, in this direction. Okay, so also here, so this is scar tissue still dating back to 25 years ago. So one leg was amputated, the other leg was not amputated, but you can see it was severely traumatized and we have lots of very deep scar, scar adhesion, as you see here. Shh. Alex, shh, shh, shh. Okay, and you see there's lots of deep scar tissue here, okay, and the patient has pain, okay. So the pain reduces his mobility. So here again, we are going to apply a tape covering the quadriceps muscle in this direction. And we have to apply the tape with the leg in an extended position, okay? Which means knee flexed. We have to extend the muscle in this way and to apply the tape. We're just going to concentrate in this area, okay? Okay. Uh, so you can see here in this position, okay, we're applying the tape lateral to the thigh. So here we need to put the patient into a uh, lateral lying position the hips flexed, stretching the skin in one direction and also in the opposite direction, and to apply the tape with no tension. So you already see here, posterior, how the tape is wrinkling. And so when it extends, just pull it down, you see how the tape has accentuated the wrinkle, creating the dilation, okay? Our objective is to reduce the posterior pain. Of course, he has a, a bigger leg, he's a bigger, bigger male, bigger person, so we're going to apply more tape. Okay. 
Uh, this case is interesting because uh, even though the patient has a full leg prosthesis, he is not able to use the prosthesis because he has too much pain, local pain and phantasm, uh, phantom pain. So our objective here is to treat the pain so as the patient can reapply the full leg prosthesis so as he is able to regain some sort of autonomy because at the moment, excessive pain, no prophecy, he is walking with a, with a uh, walking stick. See, forse not to do a trade lateral there. Okay. Um, so around the stessa lunghezza okay. di questi. So with this hand, no, no, down, 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 down. You stretch. The patient can stretch. You stretch. Yeah. Leg down. 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 Stretch the skin. And the head down. Okay. Perfect. Like that. Okay. So the patient can stretch the skin. Okay. To help you to apply the tape. So you don't always need two therapists to apply the tape. You can do it by yourself. Five, four. Six. The patient should stretch. So to apply the tape uh, internally, okay, over the adductor muscle, obviously we have to open the leg like this to apply, but because the patient said he has lots of pain posterior and not in and, uh, internal, we are just going to leave it like that for today, okay? So... You remember in this uh, you were on the... Yes. Yeah.